my armor skills. And just by default, we already have Speed Gathering, Gathering plus one, and Spirit's Whim. And I'll just go ahead and show what those do. Spirit's Whim will make it so that the items they give me to collect will last a lot longer. Gathering will let me gather even more from each individual spot. And Speed Gathering will let me gather a lot faster. These beginning quests are all basically about gathering, so whatever I can do to speed that up will help an awful lot. As for the weapon, it doesn't really matter. You start with a great sword and your box. Oh. Hello there, don't look all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I never thank you for picking up after the quake. I was too shook up to shake your hand. Aha, uh -huh, get it? We still got some tidying up to do, but it could be worse. Oh, by the way, you see that house over there with the colorful curtain? That's your new pad. A feline is on hand inside to help you get situated. Make sure you pause to say hello. Pause. <laughs> okay. So you talk to this guy if you ever want to change your decorations in your house, or you want to collect your arena rewards... I'm just going to show that there is a great sword in here, but we're not going to use it. The sword and shield is great because it's fast, and the shield makes it easy to knock out things when it's time to carve from a knocked out monster, such as a Kelby. Anyways, I guess we should, you know, usually you should talk to anyone that has a yellow text bubble over their head. Uh, excuse me, hunter person. Uh, if you want to get to the Moga Woods, just cross this bridge. You can get back the same way, so try not to forget where the entrance is. We're supposed to ask permission before we go into the woods. Oh, but I'm not telling you what to do. There's an armory right there if you need equipment. I don't think you'll need... You should go over there dressed like me. Okay, you shouldn't go into the woods naked. Oh yeah, I have this stone I picked up when I heard a hunter was coming. You want it? Here. We use these to sharpen blades. Ooh, you're a lot nicer than I thought. My big brother said you'd snap me like a twig, but you're alright. Okay, yeah, use whetstone to sharpen your weapon after it's been doled enough. I'm not sure if he wants me to go straight into the Moga village to talk to the... his son. I'm just going to assume that's what he wants. I'm going to go ahead and do that. In this Moga village here, you can go, uh, the Moga forest that is, you can go in whenever you want to pick up various general resources like raw meat or to gather pokey points if you need, not pokey points, Moga village points, at least I think they're called Moga village points in order to buy certain things. Okay, so here's the village chief. Hey there kid, can you hear me? You know, you really ought to meet my son Junior. He should be at the camp. My ancestors have a saying, wherever you go, there you are. You see the map on the right side of the screen there? Red triangle shows where you are, and the white icon that looks like a little hut, that's the base camp. Use the map to find your way to the base camp. Okay, just telling you how to move around, you know how to do that. If you ever want to zoom your map in, you can press minus and then, oh, not plus. Oop, minus and then Y. The graphics in Monster Hunter Tri are just beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely one of the best looking games on the Wii, in my opinion. And there still yet has yet to be a game that's even nearly as good looking as it. Uh, before I forget, there's something I ought to tell you about dashing. The yellow bar on the top of the screen is your stamina gauge. Running fast, dashing that is, will use up stamina. Right now, it'll be slow going until it recharges. That's why you need to pay attention to your stamina gauge when you dash. Pace yourself, kid. You can also use the camera controls to gawk at your surroundings while you're walking around. I'll show that off what it's like to run your stamina all the way down. Generally, you want to start tapping the R button when it starts getting to red just to keep yourself moving till you're out of the way of whatever monster is chasing you. Otherwise, just wait until it's almost red and then let off. Say, the monster you're looking at right now is the Apanoth, a kind of herbivore, you know, a plant muncher. I'll bet Junior would appreciate some raw meat. Why not take some from the Apanoth? If you can, go on, face the Apanoth and attack before it skedaddles. That leaf eater can't hurt you much. Which reminds me, the green part at the top of the screen is your health gauge. If it hits zero, you hit the ground. Be sure to peek at your health gauge now and then while you're hunting. All right, go show the vegan brute who's boss. While you're out here in the Moga forest, you actually cannot die. I mean, you can die, but you cannot fail a quest. Oh, wow. So one full combo will actually kill them, even with the weakest button. That's not bad. Not half bad, kid. You remind me of myself when I was your age. Of course, my stamina gauge was much longer. Why you? You can also use your carving skill to hack items from monsters you've killed. You can carve more items from some monsters than others. My ancestors used every part of the monster. You should be able to carve raw meat from an apanoth, amongst other things. Once you've gotten some raw meat, take it to the son of mine. Junior just loves fresh apanoth steaks. Yeah, you should be able to carve twice from this guy. I'm a little worried about these guys running away. I kind of want to get more carves. And there actually are some apanoths that are going to be bigger than others. You can only find them, I think it's called 
herbivore breeding, it'll say in the MOGA forecast, once Junior finally gets back to the main village. When that's the case, if you can kill enough of the large Aponoths, you will be able to collect was it, large dung as a reward, which you need to build some things. I think it's uh, an upgrade for your farm, but I could be wrong. That would make sense. Other than that, there's no other real reason to try and farm it out because fertile mud from Baroth is better. But we're not even close to seeing him yet. So there's the village chief's son, also known as Junior. Although he doesn't like being called Junior for some reason. So we're going to be t doing a couple steps here to put this camp back together so we can start doing quests properly. Nice work. Seems he reached the camp in one piece. It's just a shadow of its former self because of all the earthquake damage. Well, well, if that ain't my son right in front of you, don't be shy. Go up to Junior and say hi. Let's see what he has to say. Probably wants meat. Hey, oh Hunter, glad you dropped by. The old man sent you out for a tour of the Moga Woods? Sorry we didn't get to chat more yesterday. As fun a conversation piece as natural disasters are, yeah. So, you're probably up to speed on the who's who by now, and I'm Junior, I mean, I'm the Chief's son. What am I doing here, you might ask? Standing among the rubble? Good question. Well, see, this is your base camp. Was. Is. Okay, I'm still figuring that part out. You need some kind of base of operations for hunting, and, well, this was where we left the tent and Boca set out. Can't say the earthquake was kind to this place. We'll need to fix it up before you can hunt from here. I'll head back to the village and get the ball rolling, but, uh, say, you got anything I can munch on? I'm so hungry I can eat an Aponoth. Got any raw meat? Because I can barbecue like a champ. Me plus barbecue equals BFF. <laughs> it's cheesy. You have meat? Raw meat. Can I take it, please? Thank you. Mmm, something about animal flesh just gets my tummy all a rumbly. Time to barbecue and chow down. You're all right, Hunter. We'll talk more about the base camp back at the village after I'm done grilling. I'll think of some way to thank you. Scout's honor. See you there. Okay, normally you can return straight to the village from the Moga Forest, but that can only be done in free hunt once you're all the way back. Hey there, kid. Looks like you managed to deliver that meat to Junior. Good to see you can handle sam simple tasks. I think it's high time you return back to the village. Look at area one on the map. See the icon showing the village gate? Use the bridge past the gate to return to the village. As I was saying, you can return to the village at any time once you've finally set up the base camp and everything's all set in the village and whatnot. Till then we have to run back, but it's not that far of a run. So I'll be doing all the main quests, the quests of starting up the village, and all the quests in sequential order, but I will not be showing as me actually grinding out the various weapons and armor I'll be using. I'll be following level appropriateness, so I'll only ever farm anything that you've already seen me taken down for the first time. He doesn't need to see this. All right, they give you something to thank you for your help. Come by and see me once you've talked to Junior. It's probably going to give me more money, which will help because once we finally gathered enough money, we're probably going to go ahead and buy either. I don't think we're going to buy the hunter set. I think there's a hunter set and a battle set. I think the battle set is better. But if we save all of our money for that, we should be fine. There is a day-night cycle, if you didn't notice. Every time you finish a quest, it will advance its time to night. If you ever want to advance it back to day, whether you want to fight in the day or you just want to speed up your farming, you can always go to your bed and go to sleep. And you'll sleep through the night, back into the morning again. That's a trick that I showed off in my farming tutorial in order to speed up time very quickly and get materials even faster. Hey, hey Hunter, thanks for the meat. I get woozy if I don't eat every couple of hours. You and me are going to get along. Oh, you and me are going to get along. So I just finished figuring out all the materials we'll need to fix up the base camp. We need to dig new latrines, rebuild the tent, cover the old latrines, delouse the bed. We need serious resources. You know what those are? You can increase our resources by hunting monsters in the Moga Woods or finding the right items. We villagers can't get very far into the woods. The monsters out there tend to love us for dinner. Ha ha, yeah. But a hunter like you could hike anywhere in those woods, no sweat, and you'd come back loaded with resources. 
Don't worry, we fixed the roads that got messed up by the quake. Go gather some resources in the woods, will you? Oh, I see some graphical glitches going on. That makes me sad. I might need to get a new Wii soon. Oh, I almost forgot. I have something here for you. Take this barbecue spit. I made it myself. Use it to roast the raw meat you carve. Nothing beats outdoor cooking. The thing's a cinch to use. I'll give you some growing tips next time you're in the woods. Oh, and give a report to my pops, would you? He loves getting reports. So you go to hunt report or yeah, hunt report to gather the resources from killing monsters. Usually you'll get rewards. I didn't get any because I just killed a couple. A couple Aponoths. And here's the re villager requests. All you need are 30, 30 points in order to fix up the camp. So that's what we're going to be do doing soon is we'll be going into the woods. And... Oh yeah, the, the chief wanders around. Uh, we need to go into the woods and kill enough monsters to get 30 points. Here he is. Yeah, I heard. The quake left the base camp in shambles. But why the long face, Hunter? Let me guess. The camp's a lost cause. Is that what you're thinking? Bah. There are no lost causes, only lost confidence. So the camp needs a little work. Okay, a lot of work. Well, never you worry. I've unlost causes a lot more dire than this one. You think this village built itself? All it takes is a little teamwork. If you and the villagers put your heads together, you can accomplish anything. Tell you what, you round up the resources and materials we need, and we'll handle all the labor. That's better in teamwork. It's the least we can do. Heck, take this too. It's not much, but we just want you to know that you're appreciated. Remember, kid, your final goal is to take out the Legiacrus. We'll be there to help every step of the way. Okay, so there's another thousand zenny. And we're going to go, oh, we're going to talk to the blacksmith too, because it looks like he has something important to say. Ah, it's you, getting by as far as weapons and armor go? That Dern chief asked me to tell you all about forging equipment, so listen good. Making new equipment from a bunch of materials, that's what we call forging. If you need to make a metal weapon, you'll need ore. If you want to make some bone armor, you'll need bone. Bring me the materials and money, and I'll forge whatever you need. Not only that, but I'll do it better than anyone else. Some Something you don't understand? Check your hunter's notes in the game menu. The hunter info section should contain plenty of valuable pointers for living the hunting life. Okay, so let's see here. Is it the Hunter's Helm that I like? Let's see. Psychic, map, and barbecue. Let's see if I can remember. Uh, I don't really need Psychic. Chainmail. Doesn't Chainmail have... Uh, yeah, we're going to wait. I don't really need any of that. Although the Loklax stuff is really cool. It's really hard to make. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just get ourselves some points out in the field. I mean, I suppose a good early set to aim for, just in general, is when we finally make it to the Great Jaggy, is just to farm him enough to make a full set. So long as you're good at breaking the face, it shouldn't take too, too long to make a full set out of that. 